Folks in the house, how's everybody doing on this Saturday afternoon? Going to listen to some uh, old rock and roll. Uh, our station in Milwaukee finally has a classic uh, old rock and roll station, uh, which we haven't had a solid oldie station. I don't even know how long. Um, we had one, but to be honest, it wasn't completely oldies. And so uh, within the last, uh, I guess it's about three weeks uh, that we finally got oldies station. So I've been enjoying that. Uh, something if you don't hear it in a while, it's nice. It's kind of refreshing. Uh, just hearing songs you haven't heard for a, for a while. So what's going on? It's raining outside, nothing extra. Was able to uh, get the grass cut by my folks. Uh, before uh, that happened, it was kind of nice that it started to rain while I was cutting, and when I was done, it started to rain uh, regularly. So uh, that worked out for me. So I'm uh, just chilling, and I haven't done a video in a while. So um, yeah, it has been a while. Uh, so <laughs> thought I'd throw something together. Um, sports for UWM. There's uh, some news out there, basketball wise, and baseball not so much. They're they're not doing too good. Uh, UWM basketball, uh, which is uh, a mid-major uh, basketball program, uh, basically I got nationwide news uh, for a day. Uh, Patrick Baldwin Jr., uh, the son of the coach. Of UWM committed to UWM Milwaukee. Um, I think he was rated fourth in the country in his position. He's six ten forward. Um, probably going to be a one year, one and done kind of thing. Um, the way it sounds with his potential, it'll be interesting how that works. Um, playing for his dad and playing for a mid major, and how his talent works with that kind of program. And I'm kind of curious on uh, with this transfer portal that uh, is now opened up a little more for players to move around, if anybody's going to jump aboard. Um, there's been some transfers before uh, he signed, so I'm kind of curious what's going to happen like in a week or two. Maybe another player joins. Uh, be interesting. Uh, you know, when uh, UW-Milwaukee beats out Duke, for a basketball prospect that's kind of <laughs> newsworthy and shocking. I mean, it's great that he's playing for his dad and hope the best for him. And it's kind of a nice uh, little story for UW-Milwaukee, Give them a little, you know, news uh, nationwide for, for a brief moment. And uh, who knows, uh, hopefully they have a great campaign uh, this upcoming basketball season. Baseball season, not so much. Uh, I think it's coming to where it just needs to wrap up. Uh, UWM 17 and 27, um, not doing too well. Uh, so, so, uh, Luke Seidel is batting 302, and then Riley Frey is 2 and 7, but he has a 3.37 earn run average. So, there's no run support for him right now, uh, being 2 and 7 with a 3.37 earn run average. So, that's sports wise. Um, yeah, just go on to movie talk. Try to keep the videos, try to get a little shorter than 10 minutes. Uh, first movie I have is a subtitled movie based on historical events from Norway to, uh, from 1206 uh, called The Last King. Um, basically, a illegitimate son to the throne. Um, basically, it's... There was a civil war at the time, and this is, you know, not based on it. You know, it's based on actual events or uh, at the time is two brothers uh, are, are going to defend or protect this baby uh, to become uh, the heir to the throne. And uh, it's not a bad movie for subtitle. Um, it flows. Uh, so watching and reading the movie as the story goes very good movie, I think. Um, so if you're a subtitle person and you're like, eh, not too much into them, uh, give that movie a shot. Uh, again, Last King, 1206, some historical, uh, you know, properties to the story. And uh, Jacob 
Okay. <laughs> Aust Austin Bro and Christopher Ivju is are in the movie. Again, uh, a decent uh, historical, uh, it, nice paced movie. Uh, next movie, 2018 Traffic, uh, dealing with human trafficking. And uh, something that's kind of, you know, at the end of the story, they kind of gave some numbers, and it's kind of scary that uh, this kind of uh, stuff for real uh, happens. But movie, um, couple decides to go on a getaway weekend in the, in the mountains and uh, get caught up in an ordeal. Uh, Paula... Patton and Omar Epps are in this movie. Um, again, a topic that, think about, doesn't get talked about much except for like the illegal immigration thing, but what's solidified in the country about human trafficking is kind of, or the numbers, I don't. I wish I would just kept the numbers, but it's just something that it's like, you're surprised that stuff like that's going on. Um, so hopefully it's something that I don't know. I mean, I feel like the government can do so much, but it's going to be coming down to people um, to assist in the matter and to um, make it point out the issue. Um, if people aren't willing to give information to the authorities, the authorities are more or less a needle in a haystack kind of thing. So it's something, you know, hopefully that's, I don't know, disappears down the road. Um, next movie, 2019, Mercenary, and I'm thinking about this one a little bit, is uh, a mercenary ends up getting uh, killed and gets brought back to health by a small town, a small village with a church, and the pastor of the church helps heal him and more or less kind of nonviolent, you know, can't be violent or anything like that as you're in the town. But he, he ends up coming to protect the village from the mercenaries that he worked for. And uh, if you're looking for an action movie, this it's a good action movie to handle. And I think there's a couple gory scenes, if I remember right. So just to give a heads up on that. Um, but uh, surprised me. Dominique Vandenberg and Louis Mandelar. So for obscure movie, I guess this would be uh, that movie, I guess. And then my next one too, I'll kind of put in a obscure. Uh, Dudes and Dragons, 2015. And basically uh, some brothers uh, end up dealing with a dragon and uh, a evil wizard and uh, who's trying to destroy love. And uh, it's a, it's a, this movie got rated a 4.7 or something like that. And so this one I'll give as one of those movies that gets a little higher up for just a movie value to watch and enjoy. I mean, it's not top of the shelf, but if you're just looking for something different to watch, this will do it. Good, you know, fantasy Dungeons and Dragons type uh, movie for people that are interested or like I say, if you're looking for something just to change things up. Um, James Marsters and Caitlin Doubleday are in this movie. So those are my movies and uh, thanks everybody for watching the videos. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know, took a break for a little bit there. See what we're gonna do on this and enjoy. So thanks again, everybody. Have a good one.